trust mm -hmm. prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, yes. Okay then. Good. Yeah. Lead the way. Hail, fellow travelers. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alpha mm. pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. <laughs> Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand right. out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. What's this? What are these animals? Go on. Native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Oh, look, a little sled. You can go on. That's cool, bro. Yo, I seen like people like doing this like uh, on on some other like on, videos, bro. Lucky for us. Like, you can't spoil it for me, but like I was like, unusual. yo, can't wait to do this. <laughs> This one's fucking crazy uh, stupid right so obviously we finally got that cracked open um, but of course now we can go back up we've obviously we've we did this part right so now we've got to actually go um, and get around because there's like the, that gate there that we can't get into but if we actually go here and and yeah, now we can obviously traverse all the way around. I talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want too. <laughs> so there, now we can actually see that's the thing but then you've got to obviously get around and you've got to do them all quickly so because there's like a time limit right all right so we're gonna have to like drop down first um we're gonna have to open the gate again boom done and then what you do you just go wash like that and drop down and bang and bang and yep we done it Woo. fuck you know so yeah I'm so glad that I kinda like went out of my way <laughs> a little bit to get that cause like it's always good to like increase your your rage and your health and all that kinda stuff you know um so that's that's gonna really help us out obviously like later in the game but yeah that's how we do that one are you sure we're doing the right thing if you wish to abandon this creature we will leave well no i don't want to abandon it but if we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there i remember a young lad whom until this very moment would take on an army of draugr to save a wounded animal but these aren't undead draugr they're elves I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes. Getting involved where we shouldn't. Wow. Okay. Ah! Heck, bro. Ah, what about this? Okay. Now I can do it. There we go. Now we get an angle. all right so what we gotta do guys on this one is line it up because the thing is behind it so you just gotta throw it i think at it like that and then that should get that there we go boom done 
now we can actually get through. Okay, let's see. Whoa! Don't jump over, you bloody. I didn't tell you to jump over. It's just. Why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alfheim, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creature you hurt. I know that. But I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. No. Okay. Yo, I feel like Kratos is getting a bit older though, you know? Because obviously like the boy's getting older. So maybe, I don't know, like, because he, he feels a bit shit, like, this time round. Like, he doesn't feel as quick and agile as he once was. So, like, he's getting older, I don't know. But, and, and then, like, when you play with Atreus, bro, like, he's, I know, because he's, like, a kid, but, like, he's way more quicker and, and agile and you can do a lot more with him, I feel like, than Kratos this time round. Okay, now we're up here. Now I can basically do that, and then that should do it. Boom! There we go. So yeah, we need to get up here onto this path. Whoa! That's the largest bloody half you have ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. We don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lynch. We'll get you out. What does that mean? Well, the last squid thingy we saw was Gainer, so... Oh, boy. Well, I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. Oh, yeah, here we go. Now I can see it. So this is how we're going to do this one. Off. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's sort that bit. Oh fuck, but then there's like this bits up here which I can't Unless oh okay. There's a thing there. Alright, that got it. Looks like it can move now, but it still can't get out. Much of the hype matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Hafgifers are known to burrow. Don't hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves. Any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. It's okay. Should we just do this? Huh. For once, you didn't have to. It was just a simple throw. Boom, done. This is the spot! We can cut the half goofa loose here! Okay. Huh. Alright. Okay. Nice, that did it. It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goofa. <laughs> it's a half goofa. And hey, oh, the storm's the gone. graphics on that I, thing, bro. We'll finally that came out. Some goodwill from our dark elf friends, after all. Look, father, 
Thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad. Well, he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. <laughs> For bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Am I? Oh, treasure map complete. Vulture's choose gold. <laughs> Wait, of course you can go like explore after you like go and save the creature and everything that's trapped out in the desert but uh, yeah I've already done all that I'm not going to show all of that that's uh, just like too much um, but yeah you can get a lot of shit and then upgrade your armor and everything again when you come back uh, to the dwarf but yeah we're going to move on with the story. Tears had enough time to find his equilibrium or whatever. Indeed. Hmm. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jodenheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Oh, it's this thing, he's back. The speak. Hell? If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes, and I will attend to your needs. There. Ah, you figured it out. Very well. You know how to reach me now. All that said, I'm happy to discuss anything else on your mind. Okay. I have a question. Splendid. I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons! Oh no, young master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch. As protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds familiar. Hmm. Yeah. Farewell for now, Master Kratos and Retinue. Okay, let's go. <laughs> ah, glad we're to home. See you back, young one. Yep. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. Whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're hey, in a better mood. Eat dinner. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long, you forget how much joy lives in the little things. Dress. Eat. Tris, eat. <laughs> oh, careful, careful. Thank you. Mm. 
Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Enjoy, my friends. We'll see about that. <laughs> yeah. See how good he is, huh? After we locked up for that time. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. No. Didn't mean to offend. Ooh. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? safe to be smart but use the judgment of a man and not of a child but what if loki going to ironwood is the only way that you oh atreus my son yeah and nothing more do you hear me i'm not hungry anymore damn <laughs> Give me Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. Oh, we're gonna get to play as him again now. Some people swear by it on almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so. Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? <laughs> That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Hmm. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone. I'll tell you, he don't sleep though, does he? <laughs> What's that? 